What is up everyone, it is Andrew Appear here of Beta AT Production and Publishing bringing you guys a new YouTube video. In this YouTube video we are going to be making a nav type beat or like a metro boom and nav, I mean pretty much the same thing. Uh, we are using FL Studio 12 and we will be using Omnisphere potentially Nexus um, just to get this rolling we're going to get it going and yeah. Uh, starting from the scratch, we're going to go ahead and insert Omnisphere. We're at 150 BPM. This tutorial will be for beginners, but at the same time, I'm not going to be going over like a lot of basic fundamentals. If you guys would want to get more of the basics and fundamentals, please go in our videos, subscribe, and then go in our videos and you can check through some of the tutorials. We also have a playlist on our uh, channel where you guys can access the tutorials as well as going to our website. So yeah, just want to put that out there. Um, so we're pulling up Omnisphere 2 and I'm going to go to type and I'm going to go to Bell's Ambient. Now I'm going to go ahead and mute my microphone while I go through and play through a couple of these bells. Alright, so Metro actually uses this, so what I'm going to do is kind of, cl I'm going to clone this, so clone. What that's going to do is create a duplicate version of Omnisphere, and in this version, I'm going to look for another bell. So I'm going to keep the cathedral bell, maybe for like a chorus or bridge part, but for this one, so let's name this. So we're going to go to type bells ambient. Alright, so I think I found a sound that I like. Love chimes. So a good thing with FL Studio 12 is it gives us an option for helpers, scale highlighting, and then Aeolian. We can choose Aeolian, which is the modern minor scale. And this can help us if we don't uh, know what scale we are wanting to go in. Now I'm going to go back and select the B minor. We're going to change our uh, scale. We're going to try this G sharp. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it in an EQ, pull down the volume, put on an, I mean put it in the mixer, not EQ, but then pull in an EQ. Then I'm going to pull up a gross beat right after. Pull up presets, momentary, half speed.
I just wanted to change the key around so we could get a better vibe. I wasn't really feeling that other one. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull in some hi-hats. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use the AT sound kit too. All these drum kits are available online at beatat.com. And watch this. You guys can do this by hand, but I'm gonna use a tool called Effectrix, which is what a lot of people in 808 Mafia and that camp use as well. And what you guys can do is do the, I'm gonna set the swing to 1 8th. All right, so what I just did there was I used the fact tricks, used the X loop, which would be changing the pitch and uh, the speed. So I only did it over here, and I had it at the swing of one eighth, so it would play the whole pattern all the way through, as opposed of uh, it just looping over and over. So, and then over here, I just had a loop, which all it does is like re-trigger it, like kind of like do do the stutter and I had at 1 16th so this is like X and loop so yeah and I could also do a little reverse if I really want to
I just want to see if we can find a better hi hat. I'm really picky with this. It's over like the most minimal thing. So essentially we're gonna put in our little trap clap over here, you know, trap clap. I'm gonna put an EQ on parametric EQ on the uh, bell just to kind of like clean it up, knock out some of that low end, and pull in a gross beat. I want to just see what it would sound like, and we're gonna do that half speed as well. I don't know if it's gonna sound good, but you never know. So I'm gonna get this kick. We're gonna go ahead and put in the track, uh, mixer, not track. And put in EQ, I want to kick it, uh, knock out a lot of that high end. Get okay, Maximus, just do a little preset kick pump. So we're going to go ahead and get an 808 now. We're going to do attack, decay. Essentially what this is doing is making sure whenever we click the 808 and let go, it stops the sample. Normalize. I'm gonna go ahead and copy the kick pattern. Control A, Control L. Pull everything. Put it to D4, and hopefully this is gonna get us on.
So essentially, I'm just kind of creating a unique 808 pattern using the similar keys that we were using earlier, so it stays on uh, on key. All the AOAs, as you can see, are tuned to C, uh, so I don't really need to retune them. All I need to do is put them on, make sure the time. I'll show you guys. Because sometimes this happens with your samples. So you gotta make sure this time is all the way down. Um, but yeah, made sure the time is all the way down. So now. So I'm going to explain everything that I just did. So after we did the 808, we went ahead and tracked it. In here, pulled up an EQ, pulled down, uh, you know, the high end, did a little boosting in that like base, sub base area. Want to get that more like gritty punch in your face, and uh, and then tossed on a little fast destroy. Um, Distortion pulled up the threshold a little bit so it's not too harsh then pulled up the mix um, That's really it. I wanted to get a little bit more crunch after we uh, cleaned up the 808 beforehand with the parametric EQ Then I went ahead and kind of just ear Played it by ear with the compressor wanted to, like give it a little bit more punch and crunch as well as like compress it to uh, Not have so much dynamic range and we're in check right now how it runs um and then for this um uh, clap i just tossed in another eq which gonna like boost it right there pull it down a little bit and then for that love chimes melody i went ahead and pulled up a fruity love filter went to presets and went to melodic bandpass so it creates a little unique filtered sound So I actually kind of like where it's going. Let's go ahead and add in another ambient sound to kind of like stack this up. And then honestly, we're pretty much almost done. Um, really not too many other sounds. Maybe we can put an open hat in there.
So, I mean, we're pretty much there. I like that. It's like ambient piano. So, using the ambient space piano, just made like, pff, honestly, some pretty much bullshit chords. Like, shit doesn't even really, like, it doesn't even sound good unless if we had to speed it. I might put some higher notes in there just so we could um, maybe create more melodic composure shit. I don't know, something like that. Uh, so, let's see. So that's going to pretty much give us our main melody of this knob type beat. So let's go ahead and uh, pretty much structure this out. And then we're going to turn off the effectrix for the this hi hat section. That's how we're going to do it, and pull it back up. So essentially it's going to turn off that effect. So what we're going to do is put, we're not going to do it too much mastering, we're going to put a little EQ, we're going to make it a really dirty, semi-distorted mastering, like mixing and mastering. I think we need a little bit more compression on those instruments uh, and sounds. I'm going to go ahead and pull this and dip this down. And I'm going to go ahead and put this, a little sound guitar, just to add a little texture to the master. Then put... A limiter so it doesn't peek over and we're gonna compress it add a little gain
and essentially, this is all you do for the structure. I'm gonna do intro, type this in. I took out the hi-hats, I just thought it didn't really go well there. And the hi-hats over here don't have the effect on them. So it's kind of just like that standard hi-hat. And honestly, you just copy and paste it because there's really, it's just a loop. <laughs> That's how most of, all of his beats are, just a loop. And yeah, it's really basic and I'm just gonna not say anymore. Um, this is just a little quick run through though. And if you guys liked what we made, then be sure to thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm gonna go ahead and play the full beat now.